So now I'm ready to advance to the next row. What I'm going to do is find a spot on the pattern that is, well, farthest from me when I'm at the back. If I was at the front of the machine, it would be the lowest, but from here it's the highest. And this is where I'm going to drop my needle. And I just like to give myself a dot so that I'm always doing the same one. Then with my needle dropped, I'm going to roll the quilt forward until the laser light reaches the same spot in the repeat design. I know if I do it in this manner that I will have the exact same spacing that I see here on the paper pattern. So I'm taking this design that I, current, that I just finished stitching and I'm moving it up to here where it will now become the repeat and my next design is going to be the dark line again. Okay? So here, I'll drop my needle and now I'm just going to scoot around to the front of the machine and roll the quilt forward. So now I've come around to the front of the machine so I can um, access my foot pedals and advance the quilt. And when I look here at the surface of the quilt, I can see that I have in fact dropped my needle um, at that point in the design. It looks just like the uh, line on the paper does. So now I'm going to hit my green pedal and I'm going to move that quilt forward until I see my laser light reaching that other dot that I've given myself as a reference point. Okay, here we go. So I've got it right over that dot now. That's exactly where I want it. If I stop too soon, my next row is going to overlap my previous pass. If I go past my dot, I'm going to end up with a bigger space in between my rows than I see on my paper. Um, so this will keep my rows nice and consistent, just like we see on the paper pattern. 